Hey everybody, welcome to another Goodie Reader uploading tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to load open WhatsApp into your BlackBerry Z10. Now this program is totally compatible with the BlackBerry Playbook as well. And of course it is important to note that WhatsApp did their first release that's available in App World, but it's not available on all devices yet and it's not pushed out to all markets. Open WhatsApp has been a program that's been around for years. It's tremendously refined and it does work very well with your existing contact list on the Z10 and all BB10 devices. So before we show you how to sideload it in, we just want to show you that it actually does work and, and verify it 100%. We're going to open WhatsApp on the Z10. And you'll see we have a couple of conversations going as testers. We have us, which is a group between us two, and then a, uh, another conversation. So before you can actually get contacts loaded into WhatsApp, you first need to add the phone number of the person you wish to talk to on your contact list. From there, they will be searchable under your contact list on WhatsApp. You can see it matches the name of the contact on the phone. So what we can do is we have the chat already loaded here. So we're going to write, hi. And you can see we got a prompt for it. And we'll write, hello back. And there it is. Yeah, so I mean, of course, this is standard WhatsApp for Android. And we have open WhatsApp here for BlackBerry. So you can see that the two platforms are talking to each other rather well. Now, in order to get open WhatsApp or WhatsApp on the BlackBerry Z10, we have to side load it on. Now, there's a few steps involved. The only step involved on your phone is actually enabling developer mode. So we hit settings, and we're going to go to security and privacy. And we're going to hit develop it, developer mode. Now, you can see these are the defaults right here. We're going to simply turn it on, and we're going to enter the password. Password 12, it's something nice and easy to remember, but it's important that you remember this because when you reboot your phone, it'll ask you for a password, and it'll mean the developer password. So it's important to do something you'll remember, but it is also critically important for this next step in the video. So everybody, we're back, and what we've done is plugged in our BlackBerry Z10 into our PC via the micro USB to USB cable. Um, the next step that we want to do is initiate the download. So, well, where do we find it? Well, you can go to our search bar, our BlackBerry Playbook and BB10 section here. Go to Internet and Connectivity. And then you can simply just download WhatsApp Messenger. You can get both that or open WhatsApp. It's just basically up to you. It's been downloaded a fair amount of times. Well, we want to download it. So we're going to click download. And you can see here, we're saving it to our PC. All right, the download's done now. We have to load it onto our BlackBerry Z10. So we need a piece of specialized software to do that. You only have to download it from our website once, and then afterwards it's pretty well there on your PC forever to install any number of our 1,200 apps. So we'll click here on Essential Apps. And you'll see here, Load Android Apps on Playbook and BB10. We're going to click on that. You can see this has been downloaded a fair amount of times, to say the least. We want to download this. It's called DDPB. So it's a self-installing Windows file. You can install. You could pretty well download it and install on your PC. It's very small, but we do have written tutorials as well as other video tutorials here on exactly what to do and how to set it up. When you... Um, load it up for the first time, this is what you should see. So you hit scan, you should see this one appear. Sometimes you'll see a list. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to enter my development password and then I'm going to press connect. Uh, your development password is the one I told you to establish. You can see it connected very fast, OS BlackBerry 10. Pin number and version number will change depending on your geographical location. I'm going to click add. I'm going to Find this app on our P 
PC here, open WhatsApp. By default, it's not highlighted. I'm going to click on it to highlight. I'm going to press install. It sometimes takes, um, you know, 30 seconds to maybe about a minute or so. You can install more than one app at once. You can install 50 apps at once if you want. It'll just take a bit longer. But for the purposes of this tutorial, of course, we're just focusing on WhatsApp. Uh, once it's downloaded, it'll be installed on your Z10. You can see it's OK. And at the beginning of the video, we sort of gave you a walkthrough on what the app's all about. That's exactly what you're going to experience now that it's all set up. If you have any questions, please comment on this video. Or you can watch any of our other videos at youtube.com slash goodereader. And for all the latest apps and everything else, you can check out our web store at apps.goodereader.com. Uh, we have over 1,200 apps. We add more every single day. You can see here some of the apps that we just added in the last 24 hours. A uh, fair number of them. Drag and play poker. It's a good one right now. So my name is Michael, and you've just watched a tutorial on how to load WhatsApp onto your BlackBerry Z10. Oh, 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 oh,